So this is the uh, third Harley motor that I've pulled. And the easiest way that I've found to pull motors, whether it's the Evo or the Twin, is that after you've, I mean, it's never easy pulling a motor. Um, now obviously you want to be as careful as you can and not bang your, your goods around if you're trying to salvage anything. Uh, but what I find is that after I get the, uh, the bolts out, I put one bolt in back in here, one motor mount bolt back in, and uh, I just I use that as a, a precautionary or safety, uh, and I don't put it all the way in, I usually just ride it on the other side. Then I disconnect my uh, last two bolts on this side, I usually start on the other side, and then uh, <clears throat> I use a uh, ratchet strap. To, to get it up and over and then put a piece of wood underneath of it and then if you need to if you're gonna slide it around you know on the floor here I'm gonna take it right over to my bench but uh, that's uh, that's how I at least get it turned around and sideways and then uh, make sure you you know get a get a newer ratchet strap you know that way the one that's not all rusted up and locked up on you as well that way when you pull the, the lever back to try to let some of the slack back out to let it let it down. You don't just drop it or slam it. Uh, but you know, you want to keep in mind that you have your crank popping out there and that you don't knock it on the top of your your uh, uh, transmission or so you know somewhere else. Now we're gonna pop this over to the. Like I said, we pulled this out because the cam, the front cam bearing failed on this, and uh, yeah, they're. You can probably feel a little bit in the wear, where there the front one looks worse than, than the rear one. But I think we caught it in enough time that I'm hoping that I get lucky that I can take the this over to a to a machine shop. So we did get it over here to the workbench, but because I have such a tiny ass garage and everything hangs down, I managed to pull it back. So we're gonna split the case. I hope I can deal with it. Oh, it hurts all the way down under my ribs. But we're going to take this case and hopefully find a machine shop of uh, somebody who will be able to put an insert in maybe. And uh, I don't know. We'll figure something out. And this is what a bike looks like without an engine in it. Now, uh, the, uh, the twins, in my opinion... A little bit easier to uh, to finagle out and that's because like in the Evos the transmission is also part of the engine which adds quite a bit of weight in my opinion you know and it's not just my opinion it's the reality is it does add more weight so uh, we are going to split the case here uh, I have to go by some uh, hardware to attempt to uh, uh, get a spreader. Uh, you know, they gave you these <laughs> give you these little slots to to stick a flat blade screwdriver in too, and uh, yeah, that doesn't help to to uh, to split it. But yeah, well, although I didn't really want to do it that way. Uh, I did split the case by inserting a flathead, and in my case, it, uh, <laughs> in my case, in my case, it did work. Uh, I, you know, this, the, the, if, if it's too hard, though, to, uh, to get it to split for you, uh, you can use these two back bolts and, uh, set up a contraption to spin these out either two nuts and a and a bolt and and uh, you know like uh, some steel lugs for like a battery terminal uh, you could weld something together I'm sure but uh, I got lucky today and uh, mine split